power, uh, the Michael Cole commercial appeal, just how would you, I guess, reflect on the way things transpired for you and your brother when you think about when you first got to Memphis, mm -hmm. the, the career you had here, the career he's had that's led to this. How have you begun to reflect on that journey, you know, as you've had 20 plus years or so? I mean, you start by being thankful, you know. Um, it's hard to picture, you know, when we first got here in 2001 as a family and, and to see how everything had, has turned out, you know, and how our careers kind of played out and everything. Um, so, uh, so, I mean, obviously I'm very, very proud and of what we've been able to accomplish, but more importantly, what Mark has been able to accomplish, you know, and uh, how we came here as a 16 year old and had to leave, you know, school and everything back back home to to kind of follow the big brother's dream and and um, you know just proud of how what what he's been able to do, how he approached everything, his uh, his character, his determination, you know the the mark that he left, you know the legacy, what he was able to do here and throughout his career, um, represent the city of Memphis the way he did for so many years uh, along those. All those other guys, uh, Mike, Zach, Tony, and, and many others. Uh, so just uh, you know, tonight is a special night for for our family that brings back a lot of a lot of memories. Um, so uh, you know, that's part of it, I guess. Pal in the back. Yep. How's, How's it going? Hey, how Matt, if you actually was five here in Memphis, kind of follow up on that. What do you think about the butterfly effect that's led to tonight? You getting drafted, Mark moving here with your whole family when he's a teenager. You guys get trade for one another. He has the career he had here, and now he becomes the second player in this franchise's history to have his jersey retired. Is that kind of crazy for you to ever wrap your head around how beautifully it all played out for both of you, really? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to put in words, uh, you know, how I guess um, how everything has played out. Um, how, um, I mean, obviously, it, is, it starts with a, an incredible love for the game, uh, respect for the game of how we both kind of approached um, the game, how a unique tie to this to the city and to this franchise. Um, you know, so it's really great to, to, to be here tonight for, for this moment, uh, for Mark to be the second player ever to to get his jersey retired. Um, um, you know, how happy people are and how proud of people are um, for for him and for our family. So but yes, yeah, some of the things is like, you know, you focus on the process, you focus on the daily day to day uh, effort, dedication, work, and then you kind of let the, the results and the outcome kind of speak for itself. Um, so as, as some, as a good brother used to say, you know, it's not about uh, the destination, it's about the journey. And, and, um, and it's been a, a heck of a journey so far. But the, and now it was, I think Mark mentioned yesterday, is about what we can continue to do as people uh, with our legacy, with the opportunity that we have uh, and continue to impact our communities, our, our world, the world of sports in different ways. Hey, pal, I know during your ceremony, you got very emotional during your ceremony. What's the overall universal little brother gets so emotional, man? I, I think as, uh, you know, Mark and I are, are different individuals when it comes to that, but I think, you know, it's hard not to see him get emotional or anybody else for that matter you know i think uh you know mark uh is a very passionate human being uh and uh he doesn't express all that all the time in words um i don't know how the ceremony is going to be I, I haven't got the, the whole the whole thing but uh, you know i know you know he's gonna his heart his emotion are gonna come come afloat and, and, and we're, we're going to see a mark that is going to be probably extremely emotional and extremely thankful and touched by this moment. Hey pal, Chris Harrington, Hi, Daily Memphian, Memphis Flyer you? back in the day. There you go. Um, I don't know if you've seen the documentary that, that you were interviewed for that the Grizzlies made, but there's a story in it, um, I can't remember who tells it, but there's a story in it about Mark taking your car borrowing, taking, I don't know, but taking your car to take some of his high school friends and teammates out to high school games. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you remember that happening? And was that a frequent occurrence? I don't know, but I was probably on the road, <laughs> you know, <laughs> probably. I mean, I, I don't, 
I don't quite, you know, uh, remember how often Mark would get my car or, or not um, to to go out with his with his teammates. Uh, you know, Mark was a big deal, big high school player. Obviously, in a small private school, um, dominated that league. I went to see a couple games. It was ridiculous uh, to watch. <laughs> um, he was Mr. Basketball. I remember him getting the award. Um, so, um, so again, Mark um, was just, it was just a dominant player at the time. It was, the, the league probably wasn't challenging enough for him. Um, and, um, but he was at that age, right, 16, 17, 18 years old, where he was still, you know, a teenager uh, um, that had his dreams and, um, and he fought hard to achieve them. I remember, you know, one of the things that I remember, he wanted to, to come into practices, to watch our practices. He wanted to, Hey, Powell, I think I can take Trubansky. You know, can I can I go play one on one with him? <laughs> so you think I can <laughs> I can go out and play? And um, you know, he had confidence in himself. And uh, but I don't remember how often he would get the car. I remember back in the day. I mean, I had a, an Escalade. You know, I had uh, I had a deal with uh, Cadillac, and they would you know, the first year or two, I think, a, uh, let me get uh, let me use the Escalade during the season. And they now kind of got me with uh, with a, or maybe the first season was a Sequoia, it was a Toyota Sequoia. And then it was I moved up to the Escalade, and then by the fourth season I decided it was time to to buy my own car uh, um, and not have to kind of borrow one um, for the time being because in the summer we would go back to Spain and obviously the car would sit and all that stuff, right? So it made sense at the time. So anyway, um, you know. Uh, the, the most important thing is the car returned safely and without damage, <laughs> so so that's good. It was the Escalade, by the way. It was the Escalade. Good, good for him. It's a nice, nice car, you know. Nice car too. To shine. Hey, pal, John Hauser from John. Athletic. How are you? Good, good. Uh, why do you think Mark clicked with this city so well? Uh, I think uh, you know his DNA kind of connected really well with the city's identity. Um, hard worker. You know, would give it, would give his all to um, to the team. Um, every game he competed, I think he just resonated really well with his blue collar city, and uh, it's something that uh, I've heard Mike Conley say a lot. And that's uh, you know, so this is just the spirit of the city. Again, I think having these two years, those two years of high school, also kind of connected him more with with the city, and then uh, and then. Because of that that trade and his rights kind of being sent to to Memphis, he he had a, good, a great opportunity to be to be the start of a, an incredible core that had a a, a fantastic uh, run and was one of the top teams in in the league for for years. So um, so I guess uh, all those things under the radar, unassuming, never really wanted to take. Still doesn't want to take any too much credit, but he just put in the work uh, and he delivered. I know you talked a little bit about it, but you went through this not that long ago. Have you given him any advice for you know getting through tonight, or not getting through, but in really enjoying it and savoring it? Yeah, I mean it's it's hard to give Mark advice. You know he doesn't take advice very, uh, and he doesn't ask for it either. You know I think his personality sometimes is not you know he kind of keeps to himself uh, a lot. I, I see uh, obviously I think that he's he's feeling. You know the magnitude of the moment, um, and um, it's just something you gotta kind of experience and, and go through in your own terms. You know, um, and again, I don't know how much you will have to speak or, or not speak, or uh, but I, I think from my perspective, she's probably gonna be of my knowledge of him. He'll be short and sweet and, and direct and, and, and authentic. Uh, if he does have to speak, which I, I'm assuming he will, um, and and just enjoy, just take take every every moment, enjoy the game with the family, kind of after the game, which is kind of more relaxed. My post game ceremony is kind of more relaxed than what I went through, which it was like you know halftime, you got 10 minutes, and you gotta, and the lights will come on, and if you're not done, well, you know the the teams will will kind of make you move. So um, so. Uh, it'll be it'll be nice. It'll be nice and warm, and you know I just hope that he takes it in with uh, with some of those great guys that were with him along those years, uh, along him throughout those years. So you know I'm excited for him. I'm excited to experience that moment as an as an older brother, 
uh, that is just extremely proud of him. Hey, pal, Jeff Calkins. Welcome Good to back. See you, Jeff. Thank you. Um, what's it been like that the family didn't just parachute in here for a day? You no. stayed for a week. What what has that been like for you and for the family? Uh, it's been great. It's been great to, again, to to spend a few days with the family here. You know, kind of like we what we used to, uh, how we used to. Um, the same way, just uh, try not to do too much. And a lot of times, it's been at home. Just enjoy, enjoying each other's company. He said, uh, "All right, let's. What do we do? Let's get the kids out because Mark has two kids. I have two little kids too, and, and the grandparents want to spend time with the kids. So let's get out of the house." So went to Shelby Farms and kind of uh, played played with the kids out there, and and that was great. Um, um, just try to go. I think the kids went to the zoo today, and um, and that was great. Again, just try to. A lot of mixed feelings, a lot, a lot of feelings, uh, not mixed feelings, but feelings, you know, from from when we were here. And we spent so many years, obviously Mark spent more, and my parents spent probably the most, well, yeah, I guess the most. Um, so, so very kind of emotional, um, but fun to see the people here. We, told, we, told, we was talking to Mark, it's like, hey, we got to make this kind of like a yearly type of type of thing where we just come here and spend some time because yeah, this city, you know, is a big part of our careers and our lives. Buenas tardes, Pau. Buenas tardes, Jordi. Estic molt content de tornar-te a veure. Igualment, sempre és un plaer, de veritat. Moltes gràcies. Només volia saber una coseta. Quines sensacions tens tu respecte al fet que li retirin la samarreta al teu germà? Bueno, una sensació d'enorme orgull, de felicitat pel Marc, pel reconeixement que això suposa la seva carrera, la seva etapa aquí, el que ell va... Ell i els seus companys van aconseguir durant un període de temps important en la franquícia, a la ciutat, a la Lliga. Així que molt orgullós, sobretot, com a germà gran, de veure tot el que ha aconseguit i tenir aquest reconeixement i aquest honor a aquesta ciutat que al final l'ha vist créixer ha sigut la gran majoria de la seva carrera aquí i ara gaudir-ho gaudir-ho una miqueta i absorbir aquest moment com a família Hola Pau, aquí Francesc Garriga a Catalunya Ràdio ara parlaves una mica del que ha significat per la família això vau venir seguint el teu somni, ara sembla com que es tanca per tota la família aquesta etapa. Com ho heu viscut? Perquè tinc la sensació que heu reviscut sensacions que potser feia gairebé 15 anys d'estar tots junts en aquesta ciutat. Com han estat aquests dies aquí per vosaltres? I quins records t'han vingut a tu d'aquest pas de retrobar la família a Memphis? Sí, molts records, no? Dels primers anys que vam arribar aquí com a família que bàsicament ens teníem un als altres, no? I jo era el que estava al final perseguint el somni, no? Però al final es va convertir en un somni de família, no? I s'ha convertit també en el somni del Marc, i el Marc ha aconseguit, òbviament, coses extraordinàries aquí, a la seva carrera, i, bé, també el que cadascú visqui en una miqueta des de la seva perspectiva, no? L'Adrià, des dels seus anys, també aquí a l'escola, els meus pares durant la seva experiència amb aquella transició i aquest pas tan important que vam donar com a família i el suport, tot el suport que ens van donar llavors han sigut moments de, inclús alguns de silenci, no? I que cadascú estava amb la seva amb la seva pel·lícula, amb els seus records bé, et dic, en una ciutat que al final hem passat molt de temps, no? I hem viscut moltes coses, no? I bé, i ara gaudir de la nit, no? Del moment tan especial com serà aquesta nit. Hola, Pau. Albert Trabé, de l'Agència EFE. Tu també vas ser molt important per la franquícia, no? I parles també de la família i de la ciutat. Evidentment vas tenir l'any passat el teu moment a Memphis, però tens una mica d'enveja sana que el teu germà li estigui passant a Memphis? No, la veritat és que no. El que sí que és veritat, doncs, que nosaltres vam viure un moment especial també en aquesta franquícia, no? La història d'aquesta franquícia en el moviment de Vancouver a Memphis, no? Com vam aterrar aquí, 
i com algun dels meus excompanys d'aquells moments, doncs, vam assentar una miqueta el que és la fundació d'aquesta franquícia aquí, aquesta ciutat, no? I per això, doncs, jo també personalment i com a tots aquells membres d'aquells equips, doncs, ens sentim orgullosos d'haver-ho fet. Però en aquest moment, doncs, el Marc, doncs, aquí va estar 10 anys i mig, 10 temporades i mitja, va coincidir en uns moments els millors que ha tingut la franquícia a la seva història. Cada temporada estaven al playoff quasi bé, doncs, competint per estar a dalt i van arribar a jugar a aquella conferència, a final de conferència contra San Antonio. I, bé, molts moments molt importants, no?, que el Marc ha contribuït i ha deixat aquí una petjada molt, jo crec que molt profunda. Així que molt orgullós i molt feliç, perquè al final també és una cosa molt familiar i, en aquest cas, però, bé, el Marc es mereix aquest reconeixement. Com tu has dit, jo vaig viure un moment molt especial l'any passat amb els Lakers i ara feliç i orgullós i molt afortunat de viure aquest amb el Marc. Hola, Pau. Hola, Jesús. Què tal? En 2015 hicisteis el salto inicial, que fue un funito. Ara, Marc, le van a retirar la camiseta como a ti. Marc ha ganado dos mundiales, tú solo uno, tú has ganado dos anillos, él solo uno. ¿Con qué os vais a picar ahora, los dos hermanos? Bueno, ya no nos picamos tanto como nos picábamos antes, ¿no? Ahora, yo creo, al final, el tiempo también, pues, exacto, te haces mayor, maduras, perspectiva, los dos tenemos dos hijos, en eso te centras, ¿no? Y entiendes que eso es lo más... Lo más importante. No, no, para nada. Para nada. Estamos felices y lo que queremos hacer ahora es pasar más tiempo juntos y que nuestros hijos pasen tiempo juntos y compartan momentos y, y creen vínculos eh, fuertes, ¿no? Como los que hemos tenido nosotros como hermanos, pero ahora pues como primos y como familia, ¿no? Uh, así que, que, bueno, a ver, el espíritu competitivo lo tenemos siempre y, y queremos hacer cosas juntos también fuera de... Eh, fuera de la, pues lo que ha sido el, el baloncesto activo um, y, y bueno pues seguir haciendo y dejando huella ¿no? de, otra, de otra forma y, y empoderando a otros para que dejen su huella transmitir conocimiento eh, coinvertir eh, que ya, ya lo estamos haciendo en, en, en cosas ¿no? y, y bueno pues uh, y disfrutar ¿no? al final seguir disfrutando de lo que de la vida que que somos muy afortunados de tener y de vivir, ¿no? Uh, así que, bueno, pero piques, bueno, pocos ya, la verdad. Hola, soy María, de Radio Nacional. Hola, María. No voy a ser muy original con las preguntas, ya lo siento. Solo quería preguntarte, sí. como, como hermano mayor del homenajeado, del artista hoy, ¿cómo te sientes tú? ¿Y cómo recuerdas tu retirada de la camiseta ahora, hace ya casi un año? Uh -huh. Bueno, pues muy, como he dicho, ¿no? muy, muy orgulloso de Marco. Hoy estoy aquí como hermano mayor, aunque... Obviamente he tenido una etapa aquí también profesional y personal eh, que, que recuerdo, ¿no? Que recuerdo y que incluso hace este, este momento más especial, realmente, ¿no? Um, así que, pues nada, eh, quiero estar aquí, bueno, estar a su lado con, con mi familia, apoyarle, disfrutar de este momento, celebrar este momento con él eh, y obviamente, pues a nivel personal, pues un, una sensación de, de, de felicidad, de, de, de orgullo enorme, ¿no? Eh, y sí que supongo en algún momento pues algún recuerdo de, de, de lo que yo experimenté el año pasado en Los Ángeles pues me, me vendrá a la cabeza no eh, sobre todo pues el momento no pues, un, pues cuando la camiseta pues esté ahí arriba y, eh, y Mark pues vea vea su nombre allí con su número etcétera no el número que nadie más podrá llevar en la historia de, de los Grizzlies bueno, son sensaciones bastante raras y a la vez excepcionales y extraordinarias, ¿no? Um, así que, bueno, pues nada, es una noche especial que queremos que, que, que sobre todo, que Mar la sienta muy especial, pero que al final, pues, cuando toda la, todo, también agradeceros que, que hayáis venido aquí para, para dar repercusión de este, de este momento, um, porque yo también lo, pues lo agradezco, Mar lo agradece, la familia lo agradece y, y, y nada, no... No, es, no hay mucha gente ¿no? que pueda conseguir pues, cosas como, como esta, reconocimientos como este. Así que, que nada, pero bueno, más allá de eso, uh, nada, seguir adelante y, y que esto también pues, sirva para, para hacer más cosas. Uh, 
Powell. Welcome right. back to where it all started, by the Thank way. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, you too. Chris mentioned the Escalade in the documentary. I want to ask you about something else in that documentary sure. where you talked about go get Mark. Let's bring him to the Grizzlies. It didn't work out. I know it upset you at the time. But have you ever given thought of what it could have meant for the Grizzlies for Powell and Mark, the two brothers from Barcelona, to have played together in the Beale Street Blue? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we're... I don't know if it's something that it's in our genes or not, but we're kind of a family that we don't we don't look to or dwell too, ma too much on the what ifs, you know, on the what could have happened or the shoulda, coulda, would ifs. Um, I think kind of everything kind of happened, especially the way it turned out uh, and it played out. Um, it turned out the way it was supposed to, um, and I think it was important for Mark to to have, you know, to not have me kind of a, around early on, and he could kind of. Uh, um, establish and, and and develop his own identity and his own, um, I guess, space and stuff, and not be, which you know, I think very early, just he was the he wasn't Pau Gasol's younger brother anymore. He was Marcus All, and that was uh, that was something that he earned um, with his play and his work. Um, so, like I said, uh, it played out the way he was supposed to. Obviously, uh, I was. Uh, I was very vocal <laughs> at the time, just like, please get him, get him. It's going to be a great player. It's going to be a great player. And and I think my insistence throughout that season, where the Lakers still had his rights, uh, kind of made uh, Chris to push, push a little harder or, or push to, to have Mark's rights in the in the in the trade. And and you know, and again, everything turned out. Great for great for him, great for me, great for Memphis, great for the, the Lakers, and and that's what you want Trace to to kind of turn out, right? And kind of you know, kind of the, yeah, everybody should be a winner, and um, and so uh, and we played together for the national team many occasions, and and that was that was great, that was super special, representing our country, and uh, winning medals for our country, and and uh, inspiring a newer generation of boys and girls in our country. So, like I said, we're, we're very fortunate. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. All right.